Welcome to the Nenox Private Cloud tutorial. If you have requested a Nenox Private Cloud, first thing that will happen is you will receive an email with information for your first login. In this email, you will see your domain information, the user, and the password. Let's go ahead and click on this URL and log in with the first credentials that we have. Now we can log in into the new private cloud instance. Once you log in, you have your new empty private cloud space where you can manage your collaborators, add new teams, create new databases, or import existing databases. Make sure to check the Nenox tutorial on how to set up and develop your database. If you need to create more teams, manage collaborators, change your password, or work on any of the other functions from the private cloud, just open the Nenox settings. Click on the wheel icon on the top right corner and go to Nenox settings to access the admin portal. Here, you have all the options to manage your private cloud instance. So in the workspaces page, I can create new workspaces or manage the existing ones. Let's go ahead and create a new demo workspace. I can assign the owner. And if we go back to our team section, we can see that a new team has been created. Also here, we can assign the user access rights. In the same way here, we can also invite new users and assign the roles or create new roles for your users. In the collaborators page, I get a full overview of all of my users. As this is the first user from the first login, it is recommended to change the information from this user. So let's put a new display name and change the email address and add a password. Now, if I save this information, I can now log in with this email address and this password. We can also add new collaborators and set up a password for them, which they can change afterwards. We can assign them as active, inactive, verified, and also set if they have access to the administration panel or not. So let's save this new contact. So now we can also add this new collaborator into the team with the access rights defined. To remove a user, we can also do it from here. In the security and privacy section, you can change your password directly from this page. So just assign your current password, your new password, and just confirm the new password in order to reset the password that you have. We also have a lot of integration options available. So I can generate a new API key. Or I can also change the roles assigned for this API key and delete them with this pop-up. Also, I can see my connected apps and some pre-made integrations that can be done through Zapier. The email setup will work as a mail hook to receive emails directly on your database. So you can select the workspace that you need to set up the mail hook, write the inbox name. So let's call this mail hook tutorial, set up your username. So let's just call this demo. This will create a new API and just generate this new mail hook that will be created in your demo workspace. In this way, whenever you send an email to, to the email account that has just been created, you will also receive your emails here. You can also see the information from your newly created mail hook in this page or create new mail hook instances to your other workspaces. 
Then let's go to the subscription management page. So our product offering has a couple more options available. Here we can see how many used license we have. We can see the start date, expiry date, the features that are available for this private cloud, which can be added upon request. And here we can request changes and updates to the sales team. Here we can also see the usage overview, although this is still empty as it has been new, newly created. So let's just bring another here to be able to display it better. In the usage overview, we can see all the storage used in the server. And if we click on the team, we can see the storage used for the server, how many API calls there have been, the email sent and dynamic print layouts. If we click on the team, we can also see the amount of backups, automated backups, and the information per database, the size and the record that this that each database has. Let's go back to our example here. Going now to the configuration page, we can now set up the configuration of this server. So this gives you the different authentication options that we have for Nanox where you can set up the password policy, the length, how many characters, how many days to expire, and also account and session activity. It is also possible to define the SSO through SAML, OpenID, and Active Directory. If we click on each one of them, we see that they have different setups as well. according to the SSO required. It is also possible to define the send to P configuration. As a standard, Linux comes with the send grid configuration, so it is possible to set up the SMTP server as well. In this way, you'll be able to send the email through the private cloud with your personal domain. You also have here the option to connect to SQL server, so you can give a connection name and select the kind of SQL connection that you need. And then we have a range of advanced options. For example, you can set up the IP address. If you really want to control who has access to your Linux private cloud, You can control the backup that are generated in your system. As a standard, it will be set as enabled, but you can also stop it here. You can hide the collaborators from your team. Normally, the collaborators will see the other emails as well. But if we hide the collaborators here and save, the emails who are assigned as editors or other custom roles, they will not see the list of users on this page. With the sync log, if enabled, databases on your native device will be synced with the server whenever they are online. As a standard, it is set as disabled. And with the Mac printer service, you can choose as an alternate printing option. In case the layout is not rendered properly, or for example, if you have different characters and so on. Now, if you save and restart, the changes will be saved in your server and you can go back to your team and work normally. Another additional feature upon request is the customization page where you can customize the standard email sent. For example, reset password, invite collaborators, and verify collaborators. You can set up your own templates in this email to make it more understandable for your users or to include your own branding. Here in the maintenance mode, it is possible to restart the private cloud instance, for example, if a code gets stuck, or you can also turn it into maintenance mode. Consider a case that you want to make sure that your users are no longer able to change data because you have some complex migration planned or an API connection being worked on. So if we turn on maintenance mode, the teams will no longer be available. So the users will see this page 
and they can contact you through the email that is set here. If we turn off the maintenance mode, they can then go back to working on the system. Also, it is possible to deploy the new available versions of Nanox. As new versions are released, they will be included here and you can deploy the new version into this system yourself. Another additional feature is the process monitor that can be added upon request. The process monitor page will give you a list of all the processes that are running behind the scene on the Nanox private cloud. For example, you can already see the resource utilization of your team. Demo team here is using a little bit of CPU. Uh, if we jump into the team, you can see a list of all the activities that have been going on and we're able to see all the updated op operations in the database. In this way, the process monitor will provide transparency to the background processes and give you direct insights into the handling of the transaction and potential flaws or optimizations in your script. You can also restart the workspace in case it is necessary by clicking on this button here. If you restart the workspace, you will clear the processes from the background. So thank you for watching this short demo on the private cloud and its features. If you have any questions, please let us know. You're always welcome to reach out to support at nanox.com. And now start working with your new private cloud and have fun with Nanox. Nox.